Yeah. Dream team. Dream team. Benja by the area. Okay. 100 to my last day, day. Before I hit the streets, always gotta pray, pray. Run up to the spot, wanna wow. block with the work, wow. non stop, make wow. it hot wow. all day, let wow. it spray. Might be a one way trip. Yeah. Me and my brothers at the strip. Warfare. Strapped up, came up out the whip, then we marched hey. to the spot, hey. on the block, let hey. it rip, let hey. it rip. No fear, dog, get a grip, get a grip. Might be a one way trip. Yeah. Strapped up, came up out the whip, then we marched hey. to the spot, hey. on the block, let hey. it rip, let it rip. I don't need a mic, I need a reader. Beat the block leader. We gon' put it down, no line, no need to. Shout out to the teachers. Two man can't bring an Easter. Call it what you want, huh? You gon' feel the heat out of Peter. If a heretic approach, we gon' beat him. Let's fall in line. Terrace turn the heat up on the meter. Think it's nothing, you ain't running from the Reaper. Your mama ain't either. Or Big Bone Sheila. Running behind a woman, he gon' turn your ass to Cedar. Bang, bang with it if you need it, we gon' feed you. Ain't nothing to get instructions from the leaders. Ready for a change? Bring it to the people. Brother standing bold, purple gold with no equals. Hold the damn line, that's a sign of a Hebrew. We ain't worried about his life. Ready to die for this kingdom, believe him. Might be a one way trip. Yeah. Me and my brothers at the strip. Warfare. Strapped up, came up out the whip. Then we marched hey. to the spot. Hey. On the block, let hey. it rip, let hey. it rip. No fear, dog, get a grip, get a grip. Might be a one way trip. Yeah. Strapped up, came up out the whip. Then we marched hey. to the spot. Hey. On the block, let hey. it rip, let it rip. I miss a day, then I probably feel a way. Rolling with the pack, so you know we on a way. Wait. Face like rocks, and the squad never play. And we got the block in a chokehold for the day. day. City gon' flood, cause we coming with the way. Wait. Shout out to the elders for the way y'all pay. Yeah. Double honest for the hard work getting gave. Always kept the rear from the start to the grave. Hey. NY Detroit, shout out to the A. Yeah. Game plan, then we run a blitz where you stay. Yeah. Worldwide, never really think small ways. Nah. Came for the sheep, and you dogs gotta pay. Yeah. Elohim said he got something. For the rats, wow. Know you to the cars, and I can't stand a rat. Bench of vice wow. going hard, yeah. We push it to wow. the max, and it's through to wow. the bank. We be laying up wow. stacks. Might be a one way trip. Yeah, me and my brothers at the strip. Warfare strapped up, came up out the whip. Then we marched hey. to the spot hey. on the block. Let hey. it rip, let hey. it rip. No fear, dog. Get a grip, get a grip. Might be a one way trip. Yeah, strapped up, came up out the whip. Then we marched hey. to the spot. Defender of the faith, man, anything goes Kiss my daughter and my son, tell them kingdom is the goal No more sorrow, city make out a goal Time is easy, truth, even though we grow old Man, I risk everything, just be save one soul My treasure in a heaven, beer, silver and gold This are the dream team, I saw we big and we bold Straight to the end, and you know we not fall right here in the Americas. Don't, don't slip on that. This new Negro that we see today was a creation. If you're walking around worrying about your breath when you know death and destruction is everywhere, nigga, you're going to die. What's it's happening, free. y'all? We ain't going nowhere. Mike check, Mike check. Test one, one test one, two. Fix your face. Get on here, log on. Make fix sure your face. We ain't going nowhere. Fix your face. We ain't going nowhere. Fix your face. Let us know what the sound is like, y'all. Strips popping, ain't no stopping. When I'm on post, don't go there. What's happening, y'all? All praise be to the most high God. Fix your face Friday, man. We in the building, man. All that's right. To that's the right. Lord, man. Y'all saw we made it, bro. We here. It's Friday, bro. Thank, Thank God. God. Yeah, thank, thank God. God. <laughs> we done made it, man. All praises. Listen, I got my brothers in the house. My reader, Lambie Well, Officer Yawasop, 
Captain Azariah and Officer Uriel, all right? Y'all let me know what's up with the sound, man. We good or what? Sounds good. Okay, Sounds cool. Good. All praises. All right, y'all. We got a lot to go over tonight. Yes. Before we oh, get yeah. to tonight's topic, though, because I know some of y'all, you new age brothers especially, y'all be watching this uh, this cat uh, from the Breakfast Club. What's his name? Char- Charlie Man. Yeah, Charlemagne. Charlie Man. Charlie Man. Charlie You're exactly. The guy. Charlie Man. Charlie Man. Charlie Man. Listen. Sh- Shirley Tim. I want to show y'all just some <laughs> pictures real quick. Okay, and you be the judge, okay? I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it's me. Before I seen this, he was already on the list of being homosexual. I'm just being real. You right, know? right. Mm. I call it how, I just call it how, you know, brothers' mannerisms, things of that nature. It is what it is. But um, I want y'all to look at this real quick. This isn't the topic, but I want y'all to kind of see the stuff that y'all be watching and don't see what you watching. Put them pictures up real quick. So there go your boy. Let's just go through a, a couple pictures first. You know what I'm saying? Give me the next one. You know what I'm saying? Doing this thing. Next one. Next one. Next one. You know what I'm saying? They on the radio. Ain't nothing, you know, ain't nothing wrong. You know what I'm saying? Doing the breakfast club. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Entertainment. Right, right. You know? Go back to the beginning, bro. Because some of y'all missed it. Yep. Some of y'all missed it. Some of y'all may have got it. Go to the first one. So focused in on him, huh? So focused on him. <laughs> look at the two sodomite dolls in the back. Now, they ain't sodomite dolls, but damn yeah. it, they sodomite dolls. They right, sodomite right, dolls. Right, right. <laughs> look here. Somebody, they're doing this on purpose. These are different shows. These are pictures of different shows that you're seeing. Somebody is purposely positioning, and I'm look not going to right, say... Like, that it, it was, hey, it's some old vile. <laughs> Look at that. It's bruh, some vile. They're purposely positioning these dolls in these sodomite positions. Them is two male dolls. Look at this. And he has to know. No, he's doing he it. He do know. He's, he's doing it. He's, he's the doing, one. He's doing it. <laughs> With a bucket of men. Go ahead. What next picture, bro? <laughs> this is y'all like, what the? radio <laughs> programming, huh? Wow. This is what we doing? Wow. Hey, Deke, I thought you were showing the fact that how he started off dark and started getting lighter and lighter and lighter. Uh-huh. I didn't pay no attention to them balls <laughs> yeah, in the back. Look at it. Bruh. Will and Bobby back then. What is happening, bro? You can't make this stuff up, man. You can't make this up. And this is what we call entertainment, man. Look here. Stay woke. Huh? I don't even think that's the point at this I'm point. Just, I'm, I know. I mean, <laughs> right. I'm just, I'm, just, I'm, just saying, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Look here, man. This is a wicked world we live in. Very, man. Very wicked <laughs> world. Clearly. All right. Drop that, man. So, and some of y'all are going to keep watching it. Some of y'all are still going to be tuned in next week. Whew. You're on donkey of the day, by the way, buddy. <laughs> You're the donkey. He's the donkey. You the jackass <laughs> today. In Israel. <laughs> in Israel. In Israel. You the donkey of Israel. Check this out. I want to get into tonight's topic, man. Tonight's topic is they that hate thee. I want to read Romans 15 real quick. Romans, the 15th chapter, the fourth verse. Y'all know how I like to do. The book of Romans, chapter 15, verse 4. Read. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. Come on. That we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. So we understand this Bible is given to us for instruction. This is how we live our life. This is how we deal with the things that are thrown at us on an everyday basis that we combat. The Bible is the instructions on how to live. Don't ever let nobody take y'all away from this word, okay? I don't care what nobody says. Matter of fact, give me uh, Romans 3. Give me Romans the third chapter and read verse 3. To hell what man got to say, what men got to say, what people got to say, your mama got to say, your grandma got to say, whoever your spiritual advisor is, to hell with what they got to say. If it ain't according to God's word, it's a lie. Go ahead. The book of Romans, chapter 3, verse 3. Come on. For what if some did not believe? Uh Uh-huh. Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? You got people right now that think because they don't believe that that's going to stop this movement. God's movement, that that's going to change the outcome of Christ coming back and redeeming mm-hmm. his people. Some people don't believe what the Bible says. Who cares if you don't believe what the Bible says concerning who Esau is? You might give a damn. Right. Who gives a damn what you think about what the Bible says concerning the laws? Oh, you say laws don't win. Nobody care what you say. Right. We care what the Bible says. That's why we teach God's words. It says, for what if some did not believe, shall their unbelief Make the faith of God without effect? Come on. God forbid. No, you're not going to change nothing. Go ahead. Yea, 
Let God be true. Let God be what? Let God be true. Let God be true. Come on. But every man a liar. Every man a liar. Every man's a liar. Let God be true. Let God's word. How, you, how do you let God's be tr the God be true? His words. You let this stand over everything. Forget what anybody got to say. Forget their they opinions. And let's move with God's words. All right. Is there more? Is that it? As it is written. As it is written. That thou, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings. This is how we're justified in our sayings because we speak what? According to God's word. So when I say something, I go to the scripture to show what I'm saying is true. That's how you let God be true and every man a liar. This is why we out in the streets and we trying to teach. They say, oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to read. No, no, you, I want to hear you say it. Why? Because God's words hurt. God's words are painful to an evil spirit, to a wicked spirit, a wicked soul. God's words hurt. It says, as, as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy saying, uh -huh. and mightest overcome when thou art judged. And might overcome when thou art judged. How do you overcome? Because you studied to show yourself approved. You, you went through and you weighed out. You said, you know what? This scripture says this. All right, this is what I'm going to do. You didn't go to this looking, well, how can I figure out how I don't have to do this? This is what niggas do. Niggas go to the Bible and say, how can I figure out how I don't got to keep the commandments? Looking how I can, work around. Right, look, trying to look for a way out. How I don't got to do what God said to do. Or I don't got to do all that stuff that in the so-called Old Testament. We ain't going to do that. We, we trying to overcome when we are judged. We're trying to be on the right side of the sword, all right? right. So anyways, I want to get into tonight's topic. They that hate thee. Give me that first uh, article, y'all. Hey, we gonna start right here in Okie Doke. Hey, Deke, this is a real topic for me. You already know, bro. Man. You have, oh man, Listen, Boy, we gotta, just gonna let off some steam. I got a mean? story for this article. Uh oh. Oh man. Go ahead, bro. Fight breaks out after Oklahoma high school students engage in racist taunting of black basketball players on opposing teams. Read the date. Wednesday, March third, twenty twenty one. When? Six p.m. Wednesday, March third, twenty twenty one. So you mean to tell me? That still in 2021, we're dealing with racism? Hmm? Go back up to the title. Go back up to the title. It says, fight breaks out after, out after Oklahoma high school students engage in race, racist taunting of black basketball players on opposing team. I'm going to let y'all know right now. When y'all see the, the, where they were at, everybody in this room that's here at Oklahoma is going to be like, if you ain't heard about it, you're going to be like, oh, yeah, I, I can see that happening. <laughs> All right, I know exactly. Yeah, go ahead, go down. Go I've ahead. said. Go ahead. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. A lot of people need to get it out of their heads that racism will go away once older generations of white people die off. It's their cheering. They're taught. They're trained to be the way that they are. You are your forefather. Right, right. You exactly. are your it ain't forefather. going nowhere. Here, like I said. They looking at us crazy because we like, yeah, this is what they do. Right. The, it's 2021 and you still dealing with this. You just did a class last week on this. <laughs> <laughs> you, are your, you are your parents. <laughs> you are them people. Read. The fact is, those generations of white people raise children. And a lot of those children are turning out to be racist AF themselves. Mm -hmm. In fact, last time I brought this up, it was in reference to a story of about a black middle school student in Oklahoma who said his teacher went full KK Karen. KK Karen. <laughs> over his black king t-shirt. Listen, y'all, I'm trying to tell y'all. Y'all be thinking we are we we just, you know what I'm saying, we just saying this stuff. I understand everybody deals with racism in your places where you live. But out here in the Okie doke, let me tell y'all something. These Idumians out here, this red man out here is off the chain, bro. Go ahead. Uh his KK Karen over his Black King t-shirt and started ranting about how America needs a white history month. A sentiment, a sentiment the black student said was shared by the majority of his white classmates. Remember, we went over this last week. Everybody was in agreement and was coming against this young black king. Go ahead. Who all immediately sided with the teacher and all of her white nonsense. <laughs> Go ahead. Scroll down. Here we go. Well, now we have another story of youthful racism coming out of Oklahoma. Out the okie doke. Go ahead. This time it happened during a high school basketball game. 
The Oklahoma, the Oklahoman reports that last Tuesday a fight broke out between students from Newcastle High School. From where? Newcastle High School. Newcastle New High School. High School. Newcastle. Now let me tell y'all something. Oh Uriel, you already know what time it is. <laughs> hey. hey, I feel you, Uriel. But go ahead, Uriel. I- hey, I have to serve people papers in Newcastle, <laughs> and it ain't nothing but land and opportunity out there. Straight up, I be driving down the field like, oh man, here we go. <laughs> you see the Confederate flag. You see the the sign that says "Coons Not Wanted." See. And I got to go to the dough. Bruh, it's them, it's them sundown towns. They still out here. Y'all thinking everything is cool and gravy? New- yeah, America is great again. Newcastle is real. Look here. But anyways, it says a fight broke out between students from Newcastle High School. Go ahead. And students from the predominantly black John Marshall High School. Now, listen. I am unbiased in situations, okay? Let's not lie about John Marshall. <laughs> uh, hey, I'm going to be real with y'all. That's east side? That's, Man, no, east side. Technically, it ain't the east side. It's actually the north side. No, I'm talking about the school, though. The, 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 how to, you know, no, east side. You know, it's not the northeast side. He's talking nah. about the movie. The movie. Oh, east side high. Okay. East side high. I see, I see. Yeah. Bruh, listen to me, y'all. John Marshall is a <laughs> predominantly black school. Um, they ratchet over there. I ain't going front. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> like, I would have never even have thought that they would have even put this thing together. Like, John Marshall's going to play Newcastle. Like, who came up with that? <laughs> who, who thought of that? Like, who, right. what part of successful basketball game was What's in that? the blueprint right. when you said we're going to play Newcastle? <laughs> anyways, like I said, I ain't going to tell the truth. Listen, yeah, it gets, it, it's ratchet over there. But, boy, I hope them brothers represent it. I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you see who was yelling the racist race. Right, right, right. Okay, right. they started it, yeah. according to the article. But go ahead. No, they started it. Uh, John, that's Newcastle. John Marshall High School after a Class 4A regional playoff basketball game between the two schools. The fight was reportedly prompted by racial slurs and abuse committed by a white Newcastle student against players from the opposing team. So you see, here goes the white Newcastle player yelling racial slurs against the Israelites, okay? We're going to say, we're going to call them who they are. We got a call? Oh, okay. We're going to call them who they are. Hey, Deke, this is real, though. Yeah. I'm going to give a real account. Go ahead. Like, because I played basketball in high school, and I'm from KKKville, Uh, and... My school is majority, it's not John Marshall, it's predominantly white. But all the black people were on the basketball team, and we had two white people on the basketball team. So we was at another uh, school called Summertown. Mm -hmm. That was the name of the school. Racist as hell. So I am kid you not, you know, the girls go out and play before the boys. So we sitting in the locker room getting ready, you know what I'm saying, getting prepped. We about to go out here and whoop these white boys behind. Right. We hear chanting. I'm not just one student. The mm. whole stadium. Niggas. Damn. Niggas. <laughs> we run outside. You know, we running out. You know what I'm saying? The they layup no line. They got Confederate fags in the, in the crowd waving it like this. I'm like, niggas. <laughs> and we like, what the? This was every game. So, yeah, it's real. It, it's real. It ain't went nowhere. That's why I say they started. It ain't went. This was in 2006. Damn. It's 2021 and it's still the same nonsense. They teaching their mm. kids the same crap. Hey, D, Mm-mm. remember I used to drive trucks? Mm-hmm. I used to have to go to Newcastle. That was one of my on my route. You ever you ever know when you in a town or you in a place where they like you can feel it. The music yeah. stop. Yeah, you, you walk in. Like put it over there. <laughs> put it over there. Damn. Put it over there. <laughs> they won't touch your hand. Yeah. You go to give you go to get something to, to eat sign, yeah. to pay for something. They're like, yeah, just put the money on the on the table. <laughs> yeah, that's. I do it right back, That's though. That's Newcastle. Right, right. I do it right back. <laughs> right. Yeah, let me get my change, but put, put, put it on the table. <laughs> put it, put it on the table. <laughs> All right, go ahead, bro. Go ahead. From the Oklahoman, Newcastle students prompted the fight with the vile, racist, and derogatory taunting, said Paula Lewis, chairperson of the Oklahoma City Public Schools Board of Education. Lewis said the fight was the fight that ensued was deeply unfortunate. Sorry, Deke. That's why I don't feel bad with letting the door shut and eat in my face when I walk through. I don't feel bad at all. I don't feel I don't feel bad. I walking down the aisle and the old lady, old eat my lady need help, and I'm just looking like I keep on walking. By. I, I feel bad, not what so bit, just because of all the BS that I've experienced. I'm telling you, he saw the damn death. Right. Y'all Go see ahead. that clip with that old woman spitting in that, that lady face? Mm-hmm. Oh my god. 
Lewis said the fight that ensued was deeply unfortunate, but it was caused by racist insults going unchecked during and after the game. It's now let's so let's let's read it between the lines. Here it is, you're at a high school with kids. Let's say it how it is. They're kids, right? right? And you have racial slurs being hurled out that's unchecked. The parents, the staff, everybody. The principal. The pr- everybody was with it. Right. Just like you was talking about, you came out. Yeah. Everybody. The whole, the whole uh, gym. Right. Go ahead. Yeah, security, the police, everybody. I say this clearly. Our kids, our staff, our parents, and our supporters should never have to face being the subject of, a ra- of racial attacks and slurs at any school event, Lewis said in a written statement Tuesday. Our kids should not feel like they have to fight to defend themselves. John Marshall's student body and basketball team are predominantly black. Go ahead. Newcastle Superintendent Melanie Howe issued a, an apology Tuesday and said, racial slurs are intolerable. Officials from both schools met Monday night to share information from their respective in- investigations and to discuss how to move toward reconciliation. We ain't moving towards no damn reconciliation, right, right. bro. We're not do- like I said. This is this. It's not gonna happen. Look here, man. You got to look at people as they are. Stop trying. This is our problem. We feel we can see the best in people, and people can change because we look at ourselves. You look at Edomites as though they have a soul. It ain't there. Right. They lack the ability to sympathize or empathize with you. It's never going to happen. Mm. I'm done trying to be nice and reconcile and let's try to work together. And No, we ain't doing that. Look here. Like I said, I got an old saying. Y'all already know. Once you show me your ass, I'm going to take a picture. Because I'm a member. I'm right. a member. And I ain't forgot. My ancestors didn't forget. My, my father taught me, and guess what? I know what time it is. And they do the same thing. Drop this right here. Give me that article you just sent me, uh, Daniela. Dang, boy, I forgot about this. Daniela just sent me one. Boy, Oklahoma, bro. Yes. <laughs> this is. They don't know how real it is out here, bro. <laughs> but, hey, after Katrina Deacon, I came out here, I was. You got a call? No, go oh. ahead. I was. Uh, we went to the uh, grocery store. The lady literally drew the money at my mom. We about to fight. Damn. We didn't Damn. know what we was walking into. Cause we, we don't deal with white folks like that back back home. It's black teachers, uh, black p- police officers, black male, black everything. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Black principal. So when I came out here, it was a straight culture shock. Oh, no. this was real out here. Hey, not just you, y'all. What's up? When I first came I out know. here, you know, I came from Vegas and uh, – when I got out here, because I used to come out here all the time as a kid with my um, parents, and, you know, we used to be over there uh, in the uh, Oak Cliff. So I always thought, yeah, Oklahoma, it's, it's us over here. I never went out of the Oak Cliffs and, you know, ventured out. But when I got out here to live, and then I seen these Edomites on the end of the freeway mm-hmm. begging for change, I said, what in the hill, Billy Hill, going on out here? What in the hill, Billy Hill? <laughs> in Vegas, Edomites is, you know, where they supposed to be. I come out here, these Edomites out here begging for change. I said, ain't this something? It's a culture said, what, shock. What the hill, Billy levels, Hill? Levels, 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 hill, levels, hill levels, Billy Hill is going on. They got levels out here with Watch this. Money. Watch this, bro. This is Oklahoma, bro. This yeah. is this was this is footage. Some of y'all seen this way back from a fraternity out here at OU. Go ahead. This is be a prestigious Hey, Boy. go back to what you were saying. Play it again, Cap. play it again, bro. That was go back to what Cap saying. Look, the whole school saying it. That's why when I moved to Oklahoma, it, it was like I just moved right on in an old slavery I grew up with. Damn. <laughs> go ahead, play it again, play it again. They ain't here. There'll never be a nigger I say. There'll never be a nigger I say. You're from a tree, but don't never talk with me. There'll never be a nigger. Now let me tell you, there's going to be a nigger. And SAE. That's going to join that. I'm going to call it. it just, yes, that's you. You're the nigger that's going to now join that and be like, we can make a change. 
It's gonna Guess be, what? When you turn your back, you're a nigger. It's gonna be your boy. When you that, uh, when you getting dressed and everybody's over here and you on the on the in the cut, you're gonna be a nigger. Whenever they sitting at home with they they families talking about the what is it S A E what was it S A E yeah. Listen, they talking about the fraternity and all the great things that's going on, but we got a nigger with us. Right. That's you. Dang. Like I said, we got this freaking this this complex, man, where we want to try to cleave unto our oppressors. Right. Hell no, hell no. Here's another example of this still going on today. I'm telling y'all, this is all geared towards keeping you asleep, right. keeping you asleep and checked out. This dragon, this demon, that old serpent called the devil, <laughs> is moving against us now. Why? Because right. we're waking up, bro. Watch this. Give me the next one. This is a no. This is an article, right? Oh, you want to play the video? Go ahead, and play the video. I want to read the article though. Let's, let's hit the sound button. Hit the sound button. You gotta read it, bro. Kabir. Uh, this one. Yeah, I don't know what that <laughs> say. Kabir what? Gubba-la-gubba-la-gubba-la. <laughs> Spent nine seasons with the Green Bay Packers. He finished his career as the Packers' all-time sacks leader and was inducted into the Green Bay Packers Hall of Fame in 2013. Go ahead. Right, 2017. By 2017. Go ahead. Go ahead. Good ladies and gentlemen, wife was 16 years had of 16 years had left him after he had joined a French religious group called the Straightway Truth Ministry, led by a controversial pastor named Charles Dow. Straightway Truth Ministry, the ministry calls itself Hebrew Israelite and claims to preach a literal reading of the Bible. Bamilia found it found the group while searching YouTube. The Southern Poverty Law Center has received several tips about Straightway Truth Ministry as a potential hate group. To date, Straightway has not been named a hate group. Former members have made accusations of emotional, psychological, and sexual abuse against members of Straightway. Friends, former teammates, and coaches have voiced their concerns following the two alarming public incidents. 911, what is the address of your emergency? Sent. Go ahead, go ahead. Just play. Sent, quest sent questionable messages to his children's school after I'm objecting at, uh, to their first, participation uh, in a Christmas program. Green Bay police were called when two um, men described as followers of Amelia showed up progress, to the event with but, loaded um, guns. There was a, a police um, report filed earlier today in regards to Kabir Baja being Noah and a um, posting on Facebook and some threats. In March, um, Gaja Bamilia was sentenced to, uh, to six months in county jail my, uh, for contempt after he IRA, had to be subdued uh, by 10 police officers and was tasered during um, a divorce hearing. Pretty much is uh, coming after me, and um, I don't think it's for the money. I just think that she just pretty much hates me for the uh, for my religious belief. Gabamilia remarried within the ministry and has been estranged from his kids for over two years. He has documented his journey on YouTube. I have to start back over again. I hope I have so many babies, the ones I lost will be forgotten. So what y'all are seeing here is manipulation. Now, like I said, this isn't our congregation, okay? Uh, but I'm going to tell you, any anybody, when, when the devil comes after Israel, it's Israel. I'm going to tell you straight. Right, right. That's how we see it. Um, this is madness. Right. What y'all about to read in this article right here, you're, you're seeing the effectiveness of the truth being attacked. They have nothing else left. They have to come at us, y'all. They have to come after us. Go to the top. Go ahead. Pray for Kabir. Chapter 3, the followers, the courtroom drama, and the next chapter. Along with Kabir Gaja Bamilia, at least two this other... Is, this is what we're going to establish from here. All you got to do is just say KB. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that name is real. It's <laughs> serious. We understand, bro. Okay. Along with KB, at least two other ex NFL players have joined Straightway, the controversial ministry that may consider to be a cult, that many consider to be a cult. In the finale of our serial long form series, we trace how they ended up there and the impact of those around them. We also look at KGB's bizarre courthouse interactions, his fractured relationship with his family, and what's next for the former Packers star. Go ahead. 
Robert Mathis was looking for answers. The search had begun during the last part of his playing career when he started reading full books of the Bible. But two years into retirement, it was consuming him. During his playing days for the Colts, Mathis, a five-time Pro Bowl pass rusher, was a regular attendee of the team's Saturday night chapel service, and he frequently volunteered with community ministry initiatives organized by the team chaplain. Stop. I want y'all to pay attention. Why is there a team chaplain? I want y'all to think about this. Look at all of, now, okay, brothers and sisters of Israel United in Christ, all of your training, everything that you've been taught has led you up to this point to be able to discern between good and evil, to see things coming, to see the evil from afar off and be able to what? Deal with it, right? You're seeing these things now. You're like, damn, why would the team need a chaplain? Like when you was in the military, remember the chaplain that you would go see? Right. And it's funny that that same chaplain he was basically made, if you're a Methodist, he'll teach you a Methodist side of, you know, whatever. He'll give you Methodist advice. With Catholic, he'll give you Catholic advice. Same dude, same person. Mm-hmm. If you was Pentecostal, he'll do that. Now, he's trained in all these things. Why? To help try to help service you. The right. question is, is why is it so important to have him? What, what is it that they want to deter you from? Right. Ain't nothing changed, y'all. Ain't nothing changed. Now watch this. I want to because this is a whole lot to read. Matter of fact, I do want to read this this paragraph here. Which one? The, the one, one he stayed with the organization after retirement. Okay. He stayed with the organization after retirement, and the 2018 season was his second at, was his second as an assistant coach working with pass rushers. He had more time on his hands, and he spent it digging for religious meaning and into his own personal history. Mm-hmm. Long hours researching his lineage and assembling his family tree. Come on. He downloaded an app about black history in this the sounds Bible. Like this brother wants to searching. find his lineage. He's searching. Mm-hmm. And here come that, that the wicked one. <laughs> but go ahead. Go down. Keep keep going down. I wanna I wanna uh read that. Mur showed a wearing yeah. Mir showed up wearing a black t shirt with Hebrew and white letters across the front. Before they even talked about the coaching opportunity, Mathis asked Mir about the shirt's meaning. Mir explained that he is a Hebrew, a real Hebrew man, and that Mathis is one too. Mm. Mir took out his phone and pulled up a video a friend from his time with the Packers had recently sent him. Go ahead, go down. Chapter. Chapter 1, the school play, the minister of defense, and the fall of a hero. Chapter 2, the pastor, the cult, and its troubled past. By then, KB had already been to Tennessee to visit the headquarters of the Straightway Truth Ministry. So basically what we're seeing is a progression to someone trying to learn, right? Scroll up, because I want to get to the point. I want to get to this demon. No, 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 no. Other way, other way. Other way. Hold on. Keep going. Keep going. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, let me see. Mm, this, the chaplain's trying to deceive. Go ahead, keep going. I want to get to this demon. Keep going. Um, no, keep going. Keep going up. Keep going up. Keep going. Ah, there we go. All right. Go, scroll up just a little bit. So anyway, so what you're seeing is, is that people, brothers and sisters in these prestigious sports, sorry, sports, but in these prestigious seats, whether it be sports, entertainment, things of that nature, are finding out that they are the Israelites, right? And what's happened now is Satan is frantic. He's trying to figure out how the hell can he stop this message from getting out. He doesn't want these prominent people becoming a voice, even mm. though they think that, okay, that's the end all be all. Like the Lord ain't going to use right, right. the lowliest. You know what I'm saying? But anyhow, watch this. So here comes your boy. Read this, bro. Vocab Malone, the pen name of a Christian author and critic, an expert on Hebrew Israelism, who publishes educational videos on religion stop. to YouTube. Stop. <laughs> expert, huh? Use a damn lie, bro. bro. <laughs> he's just the scariest one of yes, all. Yes. He listen. He's come to the point in his life where he realized, listen, if we don't do something, the Israelites are gonna wake up, and our asses is out of here. This is what he's doing right now. 
Vocab alone, the pen name of Christian author and critic and expert, so-called, on Hebrew Israelism who publishes educational videos on religion, religions to YouTube. He's a troll. Right. Matter That's of fact, right. give me them pictures. Some of y'all don't know. But watch this. This is the expert. This is this. Prof- See, he sounds so professional here. Right, like he's right. just a doctor of of the Israelites right. and understanding who the Israelites are. This man is a troll. Okay. Well, look at this. This is what this is how the covers of his videos are. He uses us, the Israel United in Christ, mm-hmm. for clickbait. Right. He sees and understands that this here is growing, and he's trying to stop it. By any means necessary. Give me the next one. Look at this. But he got all this is clickbait. <laughs> all this is click. Yeah, put IUIC on there. Hopefully somebody yep. will, will look at it. Expectations versus reality. Go ahead. Look at this. Then, now you see the the, the 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 brother up in the right hand corner. This is the coon that he got to lead the truth. Mm-hmm. This dude gave up all that he had, the understanding or what understanding, the little understanding he had, right. for what? For this. To do videos against us now. We, nobody knows. Anyways, is there another one? No. All right, drop that. Give me, watch this. I'm going to further show you who this dude is. Give me the next, uh, there's a video. This is how these, these, these folks behave. This is the, these are professionals, the experts. The experts. This, 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 these are the mature people who are going to show you how to deal with Hebrew Israelism. <laughs> watch this. All right. Says in the Quran, Surah Al Maida, verse 82 Strongest among men in enmity to the believers, wilt thou find the Jews and pagans? He says, Surah 98, verse 6 That Jews and Christians are the worst of creatures along with the pagans. That's him. Look at this. And so, as Muslims, we must confront the Jews. And after searching, we have found the true Israelites. They stand on a corner. Here in Phoenix, from which they control the media and Hollywood. And so we are here to confront them. Look, they approach one of our camps. Now pause. Again, this is supposed to be the oh so uh, prestigious and, you know what I'm saying, professional. Professional expert. Expert on Hebrew Israelism. The NFL the scholars of Hebrew Israelism. Right. He's a whole clown. Right. And... Like I said, we don't take him serious because at all. look at this. He's not to be taken serious. And this, I'm going to tell you, that's another thing. Where he, Esau hate when you, <laughs> when you do when you do him yep. like that. When you're like, man, get the hell out of here. you beneath me. <laughs> this, they hate that thing because that pride, you know, that pompous, that, that's bred in them. Oh, boy, you, you strike a nerve with that. But right. this, is who, this is who this is that the NFL is reaching out to to try to deal with the truth. Mm. Go ahead and play it. Watch this. <laughs> Here we find the true Jews. We have the true Jews here. We found the true Jews here. And we know that the true Jews have condemned Muhammad and said that white man cannot enter paradise. Was Muhammad white? What was Muhammad so Muhammad was white. white. And you should squat when you pee. Sahih Abu Karai. If Muhammad was white, white, then how can these men say that a white man cannot enter paradise? How is this even possible? We have more sources. Bring complexion. White. What was the prophet's complexion? White. What's your evidence? You are Israel! Clown. Whole clown. Are you Israel because your shirt says it? I have a shirt that says Arizona Cardinals. Am I a Cardinal? This is who the NFL turns to? the white right. prophet with black slaves. This Listen, is an expert. This is who the... The NFL turns to this is this yes. who you 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 now go to say help. How can we how can we keep our NFL players these Israelites? How can we keep them sleep? This is who you you refer to. The reason why they're going to him because again he's the one blowing the horn. He blowing the whistle. This what they say uh, the boy that cry wolf. He is the boy and yes. he's crying. He's listen. <laughs> he is sounding the alarm because he's terrified. 
right. of the truth, man. We rising up. And it ain't just Israel United in Christ. That's why I love this. It ain't just IUIC. Right. Israel's raising up everywhere. Right. All praises to all the brothers that's out there teaching that's who right. we are and to keep God's commandments and faith in his son. Right? right? This ain't going to stop. He's freaking terrified. So whenever you see this, they're like, well, who do we refer to? Because can't nobody deal with them. They look at the videos. Dang, they, we've been sent to this historian. I mean, he got crushed. Got <laughs> shoot. Got maybe let's try, let's try to throw some DNA evidence out there and see. Oh, damn! Oh. They, they blew out the water. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get the guy that does parodies. <laughs> right. Let's get the guy that's gonna try to troll his way and try to defeat them that way. This man is terrified because he know his time is short. Matter of fact, give me that. Give me Revelations twelve. Revelations the twelfth chapter. We're gonna read verse twelve. The book of Revelation, chapter 12, verse 12. Read. Therefore rejoice, ye, ye, he, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. Mm -hmm. For the devil has come down unto you. The devil has come down unto us. Go ahead. Having great wrath. Having what? Having great wrath. Ooh, he mad. Go ahead. Because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Right now, brothers and sisters, a lot of you, of us, we catch in hell. Because what? The devil knows he only got but a short time. Read that again, bro. Where were you at? Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. Read. Re Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. Mm -hmm. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath. Come on. Because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Frantic. He's running around scared, trying to figure out how can he extend his time. This is how. <laughs> Propaganda. Go ahead. Read on. Verse 13. And it's so, it's so weak. It's so weak. And that's why, like I said, that's why you don't get, you don't get much attention from us. Like I said, I'll I put you on the spotlight now because, again, these things are interesting because, like I said, you got the NFL sending folks after you or chaplains are coming to you. Go ahead. We got a caller? Caller, you're live on Fix Your Face. What's your name and where you from? It's from New York. Hello? Yes, hello? Yes, just fix your face. Who, who, who are we speaking with? This is Elizabeth from New York. Tur turn her up. I can't really hear her. Hey, Shalom, sister. You from where? Shalom from New York. Oh, Shalom, sister. How we doing? Good, good. But you got a comment? You got a shout out? What's up? Yes, I'm sorry. I do have a comment. Um, Go ahead. You know, you guys brought up uh, about showing the video of um, the NFL player and um, and the, um, I guess, having the ministry um, kind of talking to them and all of these things kind of started from slavery. Mm. Um, this is what they wanted, you know, from us to convert. Um, forgetting who we were, and it, it's just a it's continuation. So we right. shouldn't be surprised at things like this. Right, and that's exactly what it is. It's a continuation of the same tactics that was used. Like I said, we mm -hmm. also forget that they was coming together, having think tanks on how to deal with us and to control us. These things still happen to this day. You're absolutely right. Absolutely, yeah. That's all I wanted to say. Shalom. Hey, Shalom. Appreciate you calling in. All right. Shout out to New York. <laughs> all praises. All praises. All right. Where we at? Where we at? Revelations. Uh, yes, sir. 13. Verse 13, Read that real quick. Verse thirteen. Revelation chapter twelve, verse thirteen. Read. And when the dragon saw that he was cast into the earth, he persecuted the woman which brought forth the man child. He persecuted the woman that brought forth the man child. Who was the woman that brought forth Christ? Israel. He persecuted Israel. And it's happening unto this day. Esau go chase us to the ends of the earth because he knows if we assemble, if we unite in Christ and keep these commandments, it's a wrap. Right. Read verse 17. Jump down to 17. Verse 17. Come on. And the dragon was wroth it with was the what? woman. The dragon was wroth with the woman. Read. And went to make war with the remnant of her seed. Uh-huh. Which keep the commandments so of the God. So the dragon was, he was wroth. He went to make war with the remnant of her seed that keep the commandments of God, read. And have the testimony of Jesus he Christ. Don't, listen, he don't care about y'all that's over there in, in Islam. That Y'all that's over here in so-called Christianity. He don't care about y'all. 
He cares about the ones that keep the commandments of God and faith in Christ. That's who he's making war with. He don't care about the gangbangers. This is why they keep doing, they're allowed to do what they do. He don't care about the, uh, the nonsense, the foolishness. He don't care about our communities. He ain't making war with us because our communities is messed up. He wants us there. Right. Those that keep the commandments of God are the ones that are the threat. This is why this is so important. Like I said, you don't think they sit around and do threat assessments trying to figure out, damn, oh, yeah. what's really happening? We didn't see all, all this information is coming out. That's why we we know and we're prepared. We know what time it is. Like right. I said, we watch these uh, these new documentaries and these movies coming out right. Right. concerning how they're trying to infiltrate these, these organizations. They're afraid of blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans uniting. That's terrifying to them. And what's even more scarier is us uniting in Christ. That's right. And God's commandments. All right, give me the next video. Again, like I said, this is the most terrified Edomite on the planet right now. <laughs> Go ahead. This and how vocab responds to this. Pick up his book. I've got it in the description of the video. Uh, is there anything else that you wanted to share about this before we before we close out? Two Christians watching this. Um, Help. If you know Hebrews like which you're gonna meet one. They're not just out on the corners. They're at your job more and more. They're in your family. It's gonna. I think within five years, um, it's going to rival and su surpass the nation of Islam as the largest competitor in the city for Christ the Christian church. I don't. I don't think that's. I think that's almost certain. So you're gonna meet them. Ask so you're them, saying take it seriously, right? Yes. Yeah, take it, yes, take I am seriously. saying take it seriously, and I'm also saying ask them what they believe. Find mm -hmm. out what they believe, because everything I've said, there's. It's highly idi idiosyncratic. So I'm describing a large swath of it, but I'm not describing everybody. So ask them what they believe. Find out what they believe. Yeah. Go with them. But also, I would I would do serious evangelism. What I mean by that is... Get out um, there and help! This thing help that I've seen me. when someone adopts this, this identity <laughs> thesis, because if that's all they adopted, Cameron, it's actually not that big of a deal. It's like, okay, you might be mistaken. It's not the end of the world. But what it does is acts as an anchor to their theology. And all of a sudden, you get works-based salvation. Pause. All of a sudden, you get... He's telling you what he's afraid of. Like, as he tried to play it off, like, yeah, okay, they identify as Israel. Okay, cool. But then all these other things just spin out. And they start keeping God's commandments. Yep. And then they get off of drugs. And then the men start being fathers. And, and then the women start being women and taking care of their children and their households. And, and then all Christ the comes. This <laughs> God, hold on. Listen, this thing is terrifying to him, bro. I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, you are a part of the most important movement on this planet. And if you can't see that, you ain't, you ain't supposed to be here. If you don't see what, what's happening right now, if your eyes ain't, ain't open, look here. Get the crust from, from under your eye. I'll get all that sand out, snot boogers, whatever, and wake up because it's real. Keep going. Go back a little bit. I want y'all to hear what he's saying. It, it, think about it. Watch this. Why is it? Let's be real. Why is it the Israelites are so terrifying? Right. But you got niggas out here robbing folks. Kicking in doughs. Matter of fact, I had a little kid I used to uh, mentor. I used to be his counselor. You know what his nickname was? They used to call him Kick Dough. <laughs> kick Dough. What's his nickname? Everybody, hey man, where Kick Dough at? I'm like, where? Who at Kick Dough? Kick, kick Door? That's his in name? On, yes, only, hey, only in Israel. Kick Dough, he Kick Dough, get off in there. That's what he's known for. Kicking in doughs, coming there and taking your stuff. But, anyways, what's so freaking. What is so terrifying about an organization that is getting people off of drugs, that is getting people to be law-abiding citizens that keep God's commandments and faith in his son? What's so terrifying about that? What's so terrifying about, brother, don't commit adultery. Hey, bro, don't steal. Hey, bro, make sure you love your neighbor as you love yourself. What is so scary about that? This thing is spiritual, brothers and sisters. If you can't see this, I don't know what you're looking at. Go ahead, bro. That is um, this thing, what I've seen when someone adopts this, this identity thesis, because if that's all they adopted, Cameron, it's actually not that big of a deal. It's like, okay, you might be mistaken. It's not the end of the world. He lying. But what it does is acts as an anchor to their theology. And all of a sudden, you get works-based salvation. All of a sudden, you get denigration of the deity of the Christ. All of a sudden, you get denial of the Trinity. All of a sudden, you get acceptance of the Apocrypha. All, I'm not saying that's as bad as the others, but all these other things that weigh down yes. the theology and transmorph it into something that I think Galatians directly spoke against. Wow. It's been...
really interesting. So, well, thanks for coming on to Capturing Take Christianity. Take your goofy ass off the screen, bro. Let me tell y'all something. This, this, man, this truth amazing, bro. Hey, we got That's a caller. Right. How many religions that don't believe in Christ? Bro. But we How the, many religions but we don't the biggest threat, right? We the biggest We the threat. We the threat. No, Caller, right. you're live threat. on Fix Your Face Radio. Who, what's your name? Who am I speaking with? Shalom, Deacon. Most high Christ bless. Shalom, leadership. This is um, Sister Elishava from uh, Maryland. Maryland. What's happening, sis? Most high Christ bless. Yeah, look, bless. look, I don't even know if I can shout out DC camp tomorrow. All praise to the most high. Hey, all my praise. My first day I'm congregating. I'm so happy. All praises. All praises to the Lord. And my brothers over there, brothers and sisters. What's happening, sis? You got something you want to get off your chest? Yes, I do. I'm, I'm trying to... To mess up a face. Forget, we need to fix the fix the face. I'm ready to mess up a face. She said, I want to physically fix the face. <laughs> yes, I just wanted to say all praises to the most high. Just the fact that the way your brothers ignore him when he's there, you know, because the fact that, you know, we know what they're, what you know, we know who they are and we know what their outcome is going to be. It's like, Y'all just ignore him like he's a like the fly Mike Pence ignored on his on his head. Right. You know, you are irrelevant. You know, pardon me, irrelevant. It's just like it's like you can't you, you can't even give weight to foolishness because the only reason why who is so bold to mm. walk up upon things you know this is the truth. Like just calm down and wait for your judgment because it's right. coming. That's right. Like you can't nothing you you can't stop it. Your loudspeaker, your robe, your little thing you got on your head. You can't stop this thing. You know exactly. And I'm just laughing. I was like, I was like, they like no movement. <laughs> like, oh, is he here? What is what is that? It's exactly. like a fly buzzing. Like what? You know. What's but funny, I'll praise to the Most High for, funny, for sis, y'all brothers just being strong in the Lord. Check this out, sis. What what we have to understand is you come to a point in this truth where you understand the mission. Listen, you're not going to deter me. You're not going to get me to stumble. I, my eye is on the prize. I'm out here for my people. Now, I'll tell you, I'll be honest with you. I use Edomites at times as an example. And when the opportunity presents itself and right. it, it needs to be done, I'll do that. But you're not going to come out here. One thing that everybody knows at this point, you're not going to come to IUIC and think you're about to overthrow or overtake or do what you want to do. That's just not going to happen. So we're going to stick to our program. And if we decide to, you know, make you an example in our program, we will. If we decide not to, no, we have a mission. But what Esau, Esau is so freaking pompous. When you show that he's insignificant and when he feels that, because that's how they feel when you ignore them. Oh, man, listen, he could, he could cut your head off right then and there. I'm going to tell you right now, that's what he wants. Who the hell you think you Who are? Who you think you are to ignore me? Who are you, buddy? Put your goofy ass down in the corner somewhere. <laughs> I'm out here teaching my people. You know what I'm saying? But hey, sis, I appreciate you calling in. All praises to the yeah. Lord. We gonna keep on. I still got a lot. Again, like I said, I always do this. I always put all this stuff together, and then I can't get through it. So we'll see what time it is. <laughs> all praises. All praises, sis. Hey, D. Uh, shalom. Hey, you mind if I get a scripture real quick? Go ahead. Hey, get uh, Esther 13 real quick. Reverse five real quick. Just to show you the mind frame of these vocab Malones and all these other other nations that he's listen the from here on out that they in. it's vocab the edomite vocab the edomite that's where you hit them. i'm telling you vocab that they, they the hate it bro they hate it oh don't say we are not the edomites because he know who the edomites are <laughs> he know we the edomites <laughs> he, know he know who they are he know it. so he does listen if anybody's having an identity crisis it's you mm. go ahead bro mm. read that verse four start at verse four chapter 13 Verse 4. 13 and verse 4. In the Apocrypha. The one that he was like, oh, hey, you know, it's kind of. Uh. I, seen, I seen a while back a uh, brother from another camp. I believe his name is Hashar. Cussed his ass smooth out. <laughs> That's how you, I'm telling you. I'm be listen, I was on, look here. I was on board with that. Because like I said, what you going to do? You going to convince them? Right. Uh, and now he's going to be like, oh, you know what? You guys are the Israelites. Right. Yeah, you know right. what? Right. Keep God's commandments. No, you ain't gonna, a spirit like that, man. Please, hey, you D, gotta let him have it. Hey, D, he he know he know that everything we saying is the truth, and yeah. we the we the we the real. Because what person in their right mind will walk up to a group of brothers mm-hmm. that's way bigger than them, smarter than them, and mm-hmm. can you know do whatever they want to to him, and he get away with doing what he doing? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Cause he gonna he gonna run across that one of the right. Spirit, 
shirt, bro. No, nah, no, nah, he gonna run across that one person that's gonna be like, uh, "Hey, man, let me holler at you. Let me holler at you over here." <laughs> hey, listen, bro. Oh, it's a beautiful thing when you when you are content and understand the scriptures. That's can't right. nobody shake you, bro. Yeah. Like I said, you you don't went you don't went through all this trouble for me. Mm. Right, a, right. That's for a, me. You done went out and bought all these clothes. You got what? props. You know what I'm saying? Fake beards on it. Right. For me. That's what wow. I'm saying. If, if it was insignificant, if it was crazy, and we didn't know what we was talking about. Y'all know. Y'all been driving down the street. You've seen them, them crazy people on the corner yelling mm. and screaming. <laughs> I'm, I'm talking about the real. It's like I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about crazy people. Right. Do you stop and go buy something and try to contend with them and talk to them? And no, you don't. Not you keep all. on moving because they're insignificant, right? Why did, he, why did he do it with us? Threat assessment is why. That's right. what it is. Threat assessment. That's what it is. They, they are rising. He's, boy, he's hitting the buzzer. Help. Help. He's getting. He's on the phone with everybody. Yeah. Listen, we need call. Get the leaders from Mount mm-hmm. Seir. Look here. The Don Taman, we need everybody in the building. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Read that. Go ahead, uh, verse bro. 5. Verse five. Yeah, Damn. verse five. They're awake. <laughs> They're awake. This is not a drill. Help. Everybody else say, no, look at him. Them niggas are still on drugs. Look at him. He's smoking. They don't look. No, it's not a big deal. He's like, you don't see what I see. Right. The brothers in purple and gold. Right. <laughs> they out here. Go ahead. Read that. This vocab, this the vocab the Edomite right here. Read that. The book of Esther and the Apocrypha, chapter 13, verse 5. Seeing then, we understand that this people alone is continually in opposition unto all. That's what he said. See, they again, they're a threat to Christianity. Read on. Differing in the strange manner of their law. See, it's different. See, if they just know they're Israelites, that's one thing. But then you got this dipping into this, and they reject this. Differing in the strangeness of our law. That's how they look at us. Read on. And evil affected to our state. Mm. Come working on. all the mischief they can. Working all the mischief they can. Read. But this is the point. Read. That our kingdom may not be firmly established. And that's why he's scared of us. That's why he's mad. Because they know when the Israelites rise up, their kingdom cannot firmly be established. It's a wrap. It's a whole wrap. All right. Where was we at? Was we? No, 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 no. What was I? I told we just had somewhere. a phone call. Oh, yeah. Threw me all the way off. Anyways, watch this. Yeah, go back to the, that's what I want. Back to the article. Watch this, because I want y'all to see what's happening so y'all know I ain't making this up. Vocab Malone, the pen name of a Christian author and critic, an expert on Hebrew Israelism. Either by author. Who mm-hmm. publishes educational videos on religions to YouTube. Says that he's been contacted by several NFL chaplains. Several NFL chaplains. Who are concerned that Hebrew Israelism is creeping into the league. They scared as hell. That the Israelites is waking up, and these niggas ain't going ain't gonna to jump as high as we want them no more. <laughs> Go ahead. He says the chaplains have asked him how to identify early warning signs and how to talk to a player who is expressing interest in it. Go ahead. One team chaplain said that after a game last season, he was approached on the field by the opponent's chaplain who asked about the influence of Hebrew Israelism in the locker room. Malone says a handful of NFL chaplains told him that they have been cut off by former players who have embraced Hebrew Israelism. Because you don't know nothing. They said, listen, I understand now. See, the scripture says, Psalms 111 and 10 says, listen, those that keep God's commandments know the Bible. So, sir, chaplain, you don't know nothing. You can't teach me nothing. So, again, this shows you how effective this truth is moving and that even though y'all don't hear about everything again, because like I said, like Deacon Ace have said, we stopped telling folks about folks that's coming in. Reason being is because everybody ain't got the right mind frame. And everybody also don't realize the hardship that these brothers go through right. that's now repenting and is going to keep God's commandments and faith in his son. Whole- listen, it's hardship and it's a lot. Listen, when I say Satan come at you, you listen, you got all these things. Don't think because you get more money that's it's easier. No, we understand. Now you got more money, you got more problems, no you got problem. more things you, you were uh, responsible for. You're going to lose more. But guess what? Do it for, It's for the truth, man. It's for the truth. But watch this. He said, Malone says, a handful of NFL chaplains told him that they have been cut off by former, former players who have embraced Hebrew Israelism and rejected Christianity. Now, watch this. I don't want to talk to you. 
Look here. I'm telling y'all, man. <laughs> I'm telling y'all. This is what they they trying to, you know, even now, they don't want to put us in the media. Look here. How is it that we went through Chicago? I'm talking about one of the roughest places on earth. Right, right. Chirac. Right. And no news media wanted to cover us? Mm. I'm talking about we went out there with th thousand plus brothers out there right, right. marching in unison. It could have been 30 homos that went out there and got in the line and stood outside of the, of the um, what is it? Yeah. <laughs> Whatever building, the state capitol, <laughs> it had been a whole report. It had been on the news phone, team. news five, six, seven would have had a whole story on them. <laughs> but here it is. You go out here with thousands of brothers that's yelling unity, that's yelling keep God's commandments, and saying take care of your wives and your children too. And no coverage? Man, we ain't dumb. We are not dumb. And there's nothing you're going to do to stop this thing. That's right. Nothing you're going to do. Like I said, they figure back and they, okay, we're going to take out the leaders. They have no idea. There's a whole army of leaders out here right. that's going to pick up this plight and going to do what God said to do. Right. It's, it's coming down to it then. Like I said, your boy, your boy, vocab the might is scared. Yes. But that, don't, that ain't going to change nothing. <laughs> that ain't going to change nothing. We read that earlier, Romans 3. That ain't going to change nothing. It ain't going to have no effect. Go ahead. And they were. Okay, finish that, finish that. And they worry about the impact on players' mental health and their families. That's BS. That's nonsense. Because what? They're building their families up. What, you want to play? So, oh, you don't want your black NFL players to be the head of the house. So now he's putting his wife in, in, in her rightful place. And more than likely, she started to pick up on these things. You know, that's how it happens. Sometimes it don't. We understand that. But now, all of a sudden, it's changing the dynamics of the team. He like, yo, it's the Sabbath, man. I ain't, I'm not really trying to do hey, this. That's what we just party. said. They're not partying no more. They ain't yeah, going exactly. with the, the parties. They, we ain't coming to the Christmas party. Yeah. We ain't coming right, to the right. Easter party. We ain't doing the nonsense. Yeah. That's what we just read. It's, uh, it, Don't it, smack me on my ass because I did a good job. <laughs> <laughs> right, You're sir. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Oh, no, you know. All right. Damn right. <laughs> Drop that, man. Drop that. Since we terrified him tonight, let's give him some, something else to be terrified about. Play this video real quick. Get scared. This, this is a horror movie right here. Go ahead. To the east side, then we take it all over to the west side. Can't forget about them brothers in the countryside. Shout out to the prophets going worldwide. We going worldwide out here making moves. Making moves. Making moves. Making moves. That's right. Give it up to the Lord That's for that. Right. Right. Hey, liquor. Let's go. You know when remember the Lion King when 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 uh when they would say Mufasa and the hyenas go <laughs> I was up through the whole video. They see that flyer, they say, Ooh. They see brothers reading the Bible. Ooh. <laughs> it's so bad that listen, they are doing everything they can, bruh, to try to come against this truth. And you can see that it's directly related to our good works that we yeah. put in through the most high. All praises be to him and his son. Don't stop, brothers and sisters. I'm also talking, you, you brothers and sisters in these, uh, you know, prestigious places 
whether you is in NFL, NBA, whatever it is, be wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove. Trust that we with you. We understand it ain't easy. But don't be afraid to reach out and to speak. This, this stuff that you see right now, all this that's going on is by design. The last thing they want is a prominent figure that's yeah. going to step out and say, hey, listen, y'all, I'll, to, to hell with all this other stuff y'all talking about. We the Israelites. They'd rather see somebody promote homosexuality or promote Nike or promote Reebok or something instead come out and say, listen, guess what, brothers, sisters? We ain't the scum of the earth. We ain't the bottom. We ain't the, the, we ain't the filth. We're God's people. That's power, bro. That's power, and that's, that's one thing that they don't want. So now they want to keep y'all out the loop. Mm-hmm. Keep fighting. Keep fighting. All right, where we at? Oh, this is in direct. I'm talking about the stuff that you, the teachings is coming out now. You can see that they are frantic. Watch this. Play this. 937. Welcome to Real Truth real quick. My name is Rick Smith. I'm here with Todd Wagner. How you doing, Todd? Hello, friends. Hi, Rick. All right. Well, a little, little Bible exposition for us today. So folks yeah. are reading in their Bible. They come to Malachi. They come to Romans. They hear this phrase that says, Jacob, I loved. Esau, I hated. What does that mean? Does God hate someone? Yeah, that's a great question. And the reason we want to answer it is because this is one of those questions that when people read it, they go, gosh, that makes me uncomfortable that God would hate Esau. Why? In fact, the scriptures even go further, and it talks about how even when Esau was still in the womb in reference to this hate idea shows up. That's what Paul's entire argument is in Romans chapter 9. So how can we love and honor a God that hates anybody? Well, here, let me give you an answer. Let me start by using the word hate another place that the scripture uses it and putting that in juxtaposition to one of the greatest commands that ever existed. In fact, one of the top 10 commands, the first commandment with a promise is what? Honor your mother and your father. You got it, buddy. So, so the very first what? commandment you with the Deuteronomy Gee, 5, well, Exodus 20, when this, it's listed for the first time, it says, honor your mother and father. We know that Jesus wants us to honor our mother and father, right? Well, this is what it says in Luke chapter 14, verse 26. If anyone comes to me and does not hate his own father and mother and wife and children and brothers and sisters, yes, even his own life can't be my disciple. He knows. Pause. So hey, no, he's, hey, he's, hey, he knows. Hold on, can, uh, hold on wait. No, he saw the no. devil, boy. Y'all gotta like the way he did that just now. I don't, I don't, Y'all gotta like how he says you need. You know you. You know this. He's real. Boy, look he at this devil, boy. He knew that. He, he an actor, bro. Yes. Go back, man. I'm sorry. You gotta play different. it again. Saw, you gotta play it again. Play that. I saw bro. something different. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go That's ahead. What it says in Luke chapter 14, verse 26. If anyone comes to me, and does not hate his own father and mother and wife and children and brothers and sisters. Yes, even his own life. Pause. Can't. You see that? His own life. You forgot about uh, Jacob, if I love, and Esau, I hate it. <laughs> he no. cannot be my disciple. <laughs> <laughs> now you all, listen, now you all in. Like, wow. Right. <laughs> folks be, I'm telling you, folks be getting wild yeah. about this stuff. Go ahead, man. No. Children and brothers and sisters, yes, even his own life can't be my disciple. So listen, Jesus is saying you got to hate your mom and dad and your brothers, your sisters, your children, right? But then he says you got to honor your mom and dad because then you're going to have a life that's going to be long and prosperous. Those two things seem to be in direct opposition. So does the idea that he loves Jacob and hates Esau, and yet God takes no delight in the death of the wicked, uh, Ezekiel 18. God so loved the world. God so loved the world, John 3. So what's this mean? You know, Here's Stop. what's going on. We're going to explain what it means. This, I'm telling you, it be these. And I, right now, I'm talking to you. Yeah, you. I know you're cringing right now. I know all that hurts. It's like, wow, how is he just going to negate everything that the Bible just said? Even where he's reading from, you can tell the context of what it's that's talking what about. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. Give me Romans the ninth chapter. Bro. That don't even. That's not even Dang, close. Bro. The same. That's even. It's not even close. <laughs> How can you fool somebody with that? Oh man! Well, you don't know the Bible. You get fooled. Right. See, prior to this, brothers and sisters, you were a Bible dummy, and there was people. That's why he took that pause, that deep breath. You know, he said, "Even his own life, he cannot be my disciple." <laughs> I don't even believe that shit. <laughs> and you'd be like. You're right. Simple. Give me Romans the ninth chapter, bro. 
Start at verse, oh my goodness, where, where are we starting? Start at verse 13. Romans chapter 9, verse 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Now we get to this point. Now what Edomites are banking on you not to have done is have read what happened before. We can read now, Bo. <laughs> we can read now, Bo. <laughs> we can read Eyes now, Bo. can read. <laughs> Give me Romans ninth chapter. Let's read verse 1. Right. I don't, I'm not going to explain all of Romans 9. For those of y'all that's been watching and listening, you know what time it is. But I just want to touch on a few of these real quick. Go ahead. Romans chapter 9, verse 1. I say the truth in Christ. I lie not. My conscience also bear me witness in the Holy Ghost, that I have a great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that myself were accursed from Christ, for my brethren. My who? My brethren. My brethren. My kinsmen. Uh-huh. According to the flesh. According to the what? According to the flesh. Come on. Who are Israelites. Who are what? Who are Israelites. Who are Israelites. Y'all hear that music? Who? My brethren. My kinsmen. Who are Israelites. Read. To whom pertaineth the adoption. To whom pertains. Who, meaning it belongs to who? The Israelites. The adoption belongs to the Israelites. And the glory. All the glory belongs to the Israelites. Read. And the covenants. All the covenants belong to the Israelites. Go ahead. And the giving of the law. Mm, the law was given to the Israelites. Again, this isn't something that we got to go through. This class will go somewhere else. But y'all understand the context, right? Read on. And the service of God mm -hmm. and the promises. Read. Whose are the fathers and of whom as concerning the flesh Christ came. Whose are the promises. Who do the promises belong to? Israel. So when you get down to verse, read verse 11. Verse 11. For the children, not, not yet born, neither having done any good or evil. Come on. That the purpose of God, according to the election, might stand. One thing you cannot argue with, brothers, sisters, all of you out there, is God's purpose. If he said it, it is what it is. Accept your role. This goes to husbands and wives as well. Accept your role, accept who you are, and move accordingly. Right. This is purpose. This is what you are. Go ahead. So all this, now I'm telling you, this is what the church is afraid to say. All you men that want to be girls, you're going against God. All you women that want to be men, you're going against God. All this transgender, what, what is it, pansexuals, whatever, transgender. Whatever, you are going against the purpose of God. You kick it against the pricks. Go ahead. The purpose of God. Same thing with the nations that want to be us. Right. And we read about it over and over. They done went in there. They pretending to be us as the Lord was there. We see you. The Lord sees you. Go ahead. The purpose of God, according to election, might stand. Come on. Not of works. Not of what? Not of works. Not of works. But of him that call it. Go ahead. It was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Is it as it is what? As it is written. As it is what? As it is written. Get Malachi. Bring it the out. The first chapter. Hey, bring Malachi it out. 1. As it is written. He's, it's like, oh, like Paul's contradicting. and No, it's all saying the same thing. Get Malachi, the first chapter. Let's start at verse 2. The book of Malachi, chapter 1, verse 2. Come on. I have loved you. Oh, and listen, this is another thing that irks, it irks me. It irks my soul. Just because I believe in God's purpose and I agree with what the Bible says does not now make me a racist that I hate the other nations. Do not try to put that stigma on me because I say what the Bible says. Everyone understood their roles when King David was on earth, whenever right. King David That's was right. ruling. Every, all the other nations knew what time it was and where they was at, who they were. Now, guess what? Then now some of them had to get put in their place. And then, you know, you see when you get up to Solomon, now Solomon's rule, and it's all peace because everybody was in check. Everybody knew, yes, I know they the, they the guys. <laughs> That's God's people. Right. Somewhere along the line, I don't know, maybe historically when we fell and didn't keep God's laws and do what God said to do, everything changed. Now the nations have rose up. The, the weak have said, I am strong. The proud, they now have, have lifted up their head. And now it's wrong to say and agree with God's purpose. No, not here, not today. You got that? Malachi chapter 1, verse 2. Read. I have loved you, saith the Lord, yet ye say, wherein has thou loved us? Mm-hmm. 
Was not Esau. He said, yeah, you say where, God says, I loved y'all. But you say, where, where, where have you loved us? And he said, what? Was not Esau, Jacob's brother? Uh-huh. Saith the Lord. Uh-huh. Yet I love Jacob. Yeah, I love Jacob. He said, was not Esau, Jacob's brother? But I loved Jacob. Now, maybe that word love has a different meaning right there. Maybe that love is, you right, know, they right. ain't really talking about love. <laughs> Nobody wants to argue that, right? right. It's only when your behind's a hot seat. This city hated Esau. Now we got to talk about it. Go ahead, read on. Verse 3. <laughs> and I hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waste. This for the don't dragons. sound like what Christ was talking about when it came to hate your mother. <laughs> At <Right>. all. <laughs> this does not seem like it's lining up with what this guy is saying. This would this you know what this <laughs> yeah, right. It definitely said, read that again. Verse 3. Uh-huh. And I hated Esau. Go ahead. And laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Sounds pretty violent. Right. Sounds very, <laughs> very, <laughs> very <laughs> utterly, <laughs> utterly violent. Somebody this, died. <laughs> what he just did was, I got to say something to make me feel good. Uh huh. That's what that was, to make the white people feel good, to make the Edomites feel good, because they was getting all these uh, comments and all this stuff coming at them. Mm. They had to calm these people down, get right. their spirit right. Right, because the, the, the little uh, Edomite that grew up in the Catholic Church then found out and then came across the wrong camp out there. Mm -hmm. yeah. And yeah. Romans, the ninth chapter, was read. <laughs> Probably a little bit Obadiah was involved. Maybe some, Ezekiel. Oh, Isaiah 14 probably came out. Now, hey. it's, now it's anxiety and depression. It's all types of things happening, hey. and we need some soothing. Deacon, you remember the omen? When he found out he was the devil? Oh, yeah, yeah. He found That's what it was. He <laughs> found out he, he went running out there and started screaming, and he just, take your road, devil. Damn. Go ahead, you the devil. Watch this. Read on, read on. Verse 4. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate place. Edom's like, listen, man, we've been broke down, but we're going to come back and rebuild. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Thus saith the Lord of hosts. Thus saith the most high God. Go ahead. They shall build, but I will throw down. He said, I'm going to tear all, all that back down. That don't sound like what Matthews. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> that doesn't sound Forsake like the kind of text. your mother. You better forsake your <laughs> Go ahead, bro. What are you talking about? And they shall call them. The border of wickedness. Go ahead. And the people against whom the Lord hath indignation forever. I, don't, I just don't, I don't see it. <laughs> it's not adding up. Forsake your mother. Again. <laughs> <laughs> listen to me, man. When you try, listen, when you're trying to wiggle up out of there, when you try not to identify, that's why you always got to call an Edomite by who they are. Forget all of this stuff. Again, there's no racial term or racial slur for an Edomite. And Edomite is just as good enough. Call them what God called them. That's it. Esau. Idumians. You got different variations. You want to go with, you know, Edom, Idumian? You can go to Don, Taman. All these things are all interchangeable. You can, you, I'm just saying, just seer. I mean, hey, you, you, don't, you don't have to try to, because in our mind, we want to say something that's going to hurt them. Like, you, when you hear that, especially the way they say it, nagger. When you hear them say it, you just like, oh, you want me to touch you. <laughs> there's no word. Listen, there's no word that you're going to be able to say to them that's going to have that effect other than who they are, the truth. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> so drop that. Drop that. Give me. What, what time is it? Damn, we got 10 minutes. Well, we're going to ride Esau <laughs> on out. Give me Jeremiah 49. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Give me oh, Jeremiah 49. Man. Some of y'all don't have this precept. Write this down. We're going to start hey. at Jeremiah 49 and 7. <laughs> yeah, Jeremiah 40, 49 and 7. Go, go get it off your chest, bro. Hey, I remember, all right, all right. I remember when I first came into the truth and I got fired, you know. Remember when I got fired, I was texting my boss, all that, and you was like, I was like, what are you doing? I'm over here texting, calling him Esau. He's like, what is that? What is that? I said, just go read your Bible. I guarantee you right now, he's sweating right now to this day. He's looking at his kids and just thinking about his future. Damn. Get that. Jeremiah 49 and 7. The book of Jeremiah, <laughs> chapter 49, verse 7. Read. Concerning Edom, thus saith the Lord of hosts, is wisdom no more in Taman? Is counsel perished from the prudent? Mm -hmm. Is their wisdom banished? Free. Flee. Turn back. Dwell deep, O inhabitants of Dedan. He said, run. Go hide. <laughs> oh, you inhabitants of Dedan. Go ahead. 
For I will bring the calamity of Esau upon him. Come on. The time that I will visit him. Read. If grape gatherers come to thee. Y'all are reading this, and this kind of sounded familiar because what you read in Obadiah. Read. Would they not leave some gleaning grapes? Go on. If thieves by night, they will, they will destroy till they have enough. Come on. But I have made Esau bear. This don't sound like equality or love. He says, but I have made Esau bear, Reed. I have uncovered his secret places. Mm -hmm. And he shall not be able to hide himself. He ain't going to be able to hide. Right now, he's getting brought out. He's being uncovered right now. The son of perdition, the mystery of iniquity is being uncovered. And this is why it's so scary to vocab the Edomite. Because, again, now he's frantic. How the heck are we going to get to them? Because he's starting to pick up and understand that blacks and Hispanics don't trust you. So what he's realizing is I got to use, I gotta use these, these simple niggas that I can get a hold to, I, the ones I can convince. I'm going to try to use them and try to get them to come against them because he knows, yeah, we ain't going to pay you no mind. Nothing. Listen, the gates of hell shall not prevail. That's, That's what the Bible right. says. All right, read on. His seed is spoiled. nothing you can do is gonna stop this truth, man. That's what's beautiful about this, bro. Look, I get goosebumps, man, when right. I think about this stuff. Go ahead. His seed is spoiled, and his brethren and his neighbors, and he is not. Mm. Leave thy fatherless children. Watch this, y'all. Give me Obadiah. This why is it when we say what God says, it's an issue. It's there. Why? Okay, so why is the church not say these things? Mm. Because they don't believe in this Bible. Listen, it's all fake. And that's why you got these NFL players and these other people that's in these different positions and places that's coming up out of it because they're seeing right through you. They're seeing, dang, you don't even really believe this. You got one chaplain that, get, that will give you advice or counsel for three, four different religions or beliefs or denominations. What sense does that make? Mm. Go ahead. Where are we say? I'm sorry. Look here, you can go anywhere. Start at two. <laughs> <laughs> For real. The book of Obadiah, <laughs> verse 2. Go on. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen, thou that art greatly despised. Mm -hmm. The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? There's that pride. Go ahead. Though thou, though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, mm -hmm. and and though thou set thy nest among the stars, Read. thence will I bring thee down, From saith the Lord. will I bring thee down. It says the same thing in Jeremiah 49. Go ahead. If thieves came to thee, if robbers by night, mm. how art thou cut off? Would they not have stolen till they had enough? Mm. If the grape gatherers came to thee, would they not leave some grapes? How are the things of Esau searched out? How are his hidden things sought up? All the men of thy confederacy have brought Thee, even to the border. That confederacy you read about in, what is that, Psalms 83? Those nations that basically are under his rule, because he's ruling right now. All, and we're going to touch on that too before we leave out. He's ruling right now. All the nations that he had under his confederacy, what are they doing? They're turning on him. Go ahead. The men, the men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee, that thy, they that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee. Damn. There is none understanding in him. Shall, shall I not in that day, saith the Lord, even destroy the wise men out of Edom? Come on. And understanding out of the Mount of Esau? Read. And thy mighty men, O Timon, shall be dismayed. Shall be dismayed to the end that every one of the Mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. By what? By slaughter. That's the Bible. So who are you really upset with? They understand. I don't want anybody to ever take this as it's always personal. Listen, like it says in um, Psalms 83. And this is him. He's speaking to God. Remember, he's saying, Lord, rise up. He wants the Lord to defend him. He says, they that hate thee have lifted up the head. Mm -hmm. They that hate you, God, have become prideful. And what are they doing? They've come against your hidden ones, mm -hmm. the Israelites. Jump. Now, it says they're going to be cut off by what? By slaughter. Now, jump down to verse 18. Verse 18. Come on. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire. And the house of Joseph a flame. Read. And the house of Esau for stubble. Come on. And they shall kindle in them and devour them. And there shall be not any remaining of the house of Esau. For the Lord has spoken it. That's what God said. But. Boy, ain't no it, buts. Ain't no, no, look here. Get, ain't boy, no booties out here 18. now. 
That so, thing right there make you God white. said not. What it say? <laughs> Shall not be any remaining. So how can you get forsake your mother out of stubble? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody help me. It's not there, bro. Okay. All it's right. not there. Because right. they don't want to be that person. But he's okay. being uncovered as we speak. Right. Watch this. And it's evident. Get second Ezra's. How much time we got? Get second Ezra's chapter three. Read. Start at 13. The book of 2 Ezra, chapter 3, verse 13. Read. Now when they lived so wickedly before thee, thou didst choose thee a man from among them, whose name was Abraham. Uh-huh. Him thou lovest, and, under, and, and unto him only thou showedest thy will. Come on. And made it to So wait a minute. It's okay then. Mm -hmm. Out of all them people that were around, God said he chose who? Abraham. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Is that wrong? Nobody ever stands up and says, well, what about the other? Does everybody come from Abraham? Now, there's going to be a freaking Bible dummy that's going to say, well, yeah, we all come from Abraham's seed. No. All nations are not coming from Abraham's seed. There are a people outside of Abraham that are still here. Remember, you had three sons that came from Noah. Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Read on. Verse 15. Nobody makes an uproar about that, though. Go ahead. And made us an everlasting covenant with him, promising him that thou wouldest never forsake his seed. Never forsake his seed. Watch this. Mm -hmm. Read. And unto him thou gavest Isaac. Well, what about everyone else? What about everyone else, the other seeds? Read. And unto Isaac also thou gavest Jacob and Esau. Uh-huh. As for Jacob, thou didst choose him to thee. He chose Jacob to thee. He chose, most high chose Jacob for himself. Read. And put by Esau. Eh. The Lord knew who he was. Yeah. From de for, listen, before he even, like we read Romans 9, before he even got out the womb, the Lord said, eh. <laughs> <laughs> Look here, this is real. This is the Bible, and this is God. So either get with God's purpose and his program, I guess you're going to find something else. This is what the Bible says. Mm -hmm. Is there more? And so Jacob became a great multitude. Jacob became a great multitude. Now watch this. Get me now to uh, Second Ezra 6. We'll close out with this. Here's the purpose of all things, and this is why they mad at us for kicking the door open. Second Ezra chapter 6, start at verse 6. The book of Second Ezra chapter 6, verse 6. Read. Then did I consider these things, and, and they all were made through me alone. And, th and through none other. By me also they shall be ended, and by none other. Come on. Then answered I and said, what shall be the parting asunder of the times? So Ezra is now answering and asking the angel, well, what's going to be the parting asunder of times? He wants to know about the end, right? Remember, this is the angel that was sent to him to basically show him, you know, things. He saw visions. He, he fasted. Many, Ezra was shown a lot, okay? This is why they got rid of the Apocrypha. That's why he said, oh, I'm so worried. You know, they might pick up the Apocrypha, which is it's not really a big deal. I mean, it's not. He's terrified of this Apocrypha. Yeah, right. Like I said, all you got to do is just let Esau talk, man. Mm -hmm. All you got to do is just let him talk, and he'll tell you what his intentions are. Just like a villain in, a, in them old movies. <laughs> yeah. The villain will give you his whole right. plan because he think he got you. Right. Little does he know, we got a trump card. We got a, we got a, what is it, ace in a hole. Right. Christ. Read. Uh, then answered I and said, what shall be the parting asunder of times? Or when shall the end of the, or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that follows? Come on. And he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him. Read. Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau. It's crazy how that point in history is so pivotal. Mm to the course of this world. It's so, it has so much meaning in the end times. This right here is letting you know, it says for, uh, and he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, and when I, Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. So it's talking about what we see in Genesis 25 when they were born. Mm -hmm. How Esau came out, and you see Jacob's hand holding onto his, his, his brother's foot, his right. heel, right? So Esau came out first. It says what? For for Esau is the end of the world. Esau is going to be ruling in the end. Mm -hmm. the world. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. And the 12 tribes of Israel 
will now take steed and take back their rightful place. Mm-hmm. They right. it's evident and obvious who is ruling the world. Who has control over everything. That's why when you get these people that say, well, oh, it's Esau's the Arabs. They ain't running nothing. Right. <laughs> Not a damn thing. They're running. <laughs> they ain't running nothing. They're running their mouth. That's it. it. That's it. That's it. Hey, all praises to the most side, man. Uh, listen, I done ran out of time again, y'all. Dang, okay. Man, hey, but listen, we'll, we'll be back next week because I think I can, we can do it. We can do another yeah, call. We can do, always do a part, part two. two of let's this. Do a part two. Let's do a part, part two. two. Yeah, I won't do hey, all praise to the most. I appreciate y'all tuning in. Digging ASAP is next with Friday That's Night right. Raw. Let me tell y'all something, Fix man. Your face. TGIF ain't nothing to play with, bro. This is where you come to get the healing after that long week. Wait, hold on. Cut the music. I forgot I want to say something. I almost forgot. Look here, y'all. <laughs> we just dropped the Cabin Trip 2021 video. I want everybody, all y'all that's listening, go check out the video. And whenever you see a, a knucker talking about the men of Israel united in Christ, we hate women or we hate our wives. Right. Tell them shut up. Right. Listen. Fix your face. And we and we we do things like this and try to give y'all a glimpse because all that nonsense everybody's saying is lies anyway. But it gives people a glimpse on how we operate and how we move, and that we are family. And we don't just—we ain't just robotic. We wake up in the morning, shalom, most high in Christ, bless. I would like bacon. And we've been doing eggs. this for years, huh? We've been doing this for years. This was the fourth one. Yeah. Look here. Yeah. Shalom. It's time for it's time for love and <laughs> sex. <laughs> Roll over. <laughs> that ain't us. <laughs> what the hell? We don't move like that. We are actually brothers. Here it is. Uh, okay, he the deacon. Okay, I can't be myself in front of the deacon. I'm going to stand at attention in the corner. <laughs> ah! Ah! Nobody do that, man. <laughs> That's, yeah, exactly how brothers be acting. Exactly. Right. <laughs> I can take a picture. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, there's respect there. Like I said, when I'm amongst my elders, mm-hmm. I show respect. There is that there. Yeah. But guess what? This ain't like that nonsense they try to make. Like I said, you see what they said on the article? The cult and blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. Man, listen, we're going to let all that crap brush off our shoulders and we're going to keep it pushing. All praise be to the most high God and his son, Jesus the Christ. Check out Deacon ASAP next with Friday Night Raw. Shalom. Fix your face. We ain't going nowhere. Fix your face.